So for last year's main event, I really wanted to play it. I uh, couldn't really afford it though, but luckily my boyfriend made it to, uh, I think it was 19th place in one of the other events. Uh, he had to share it with me, of course, and that's how I could afford to play. I made 11th place and played for seven straight days, and it was so good. Playing 12 straight hours for seven straight days, you get like really mentally tired, and, and all the time you're trying to be focused and not be intimidated by others, and you always have to try and keep your game like perfect, and it's really hard to just maintain that for such a long time. Uh, I came 11th and pretty much almost bubbled the final table, which of course was a little bit bitter at the time, but at the same time I won a pretty decent amount of money and that made me have an amazing year. So looking back at it now, it's no regrets. It was very sad uh, last year. Both me and Gail busted uh, 11th and 10th and nobody made the final table and I know everybody was rooting for us to make it. It would have been historical. Even so, I've, I got so many replies and comments from women all over the world after the main event was over uh, saying how much they rooted for me and how much they were cheering. I think even though we didn't actually make the final table, it still made it quite an impact. So since last year, um, I got sponsored from, by Betfair and uh, basically that meant that now I could travel a whole lot more and I got to play and I've been to so many cities and countries since last year, I can't even count it. I don't really make too many plans for the coming year, I'm basically going to take it as it comes. Um, definitely going back to school and trying to go that path, but being able to combine that with, po with poker would be like the best way to do it.